Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the network error message 633. The modem is already in use or is not configured properly. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should come back with Registry Editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import, and then navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward process. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double-clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the System folder. Same thing for Current Control Set, so go ahead and double-click on that. Should be a Services folder, double-click on that one as well. And then finally, look for a folder that says RAS Man. So RAS Man. You can click on a random folder and just start typing it in as well. And if you want to pause the video and take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different subfolder or subkey we went under to get to this point. And now on the right panel, we want to direct our attention over here. Locate the required privileges registry value. Double click on that. And now in the description of my video, I'm going to have some text I want you to copy and paste onto the end of this. It's going to be append SE load driver privilege. I'm going to just paste it in here. Again, it'll be in the description of my video, guys. I want you to copy it and just paste it in right at the end, right underneath SE load driver privilege. Then you're going to have append SE load driver privilege. If you want to type it in, that's fine. I'm just going to have it in the description of the video if you just want to copy and paste it in, which I think is going to be easier. And then once that's done, go ahead and select OK. So there might have been some empty strings found, which is fine. I'm just going to select OK. And it should still be here at the end. You want to make sure it's still there. Append SE load driver privilege. And then once that's done, you will need to close out of the registry editor and restart your computer in order for the change to take effect. So just go ahead and restart your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully, at this point, you have been able to resolve the issue, and your network error 633 has been resolved. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.